Aiden Hutchinson's budget is going to be a lot bigger come April as he stands to go very high in the NFL draft, won the Lombardi Award. And he was on ESPN Houston, the wheelhouse, uh, as as they call it. And there's a picture for those of you watching on YouTube of him with the Lombardi Award. So Aiden, much like myself, taking away some college football hardware this year. But Aiden Hutchinson went on the wheelhouse in Houston, and they asked him about playing for the Lions or playing for the Texans. And I want you guys to hear this, and I want you to go ahead and, and fire away kind of your your thoughts, at least what your initial reactions are when you hear Aiden Hutchinson on ESPN Houston. Yeah, yeah, it would definitely be cool uh, to be in Houston. Um, you know, I got a bunch of family here, like I said earlier, and my dad's from here, so um, it would be nice, and, um, you know, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and look, you know, that's what, that's what guys are supposed to say. And there was other sound of him talking about you know, if the Lions, you know, with the with the Lions drafting him, there there was some other sound that made the rounds on social media uh, yeah, as well. It? What was it? Uh, he didn't sound as convincing. No, so <laughs> about I the mean, Lions. It, yeah, it was a uh, it was a you know, never really grew up. A, I grew up a Patriots fan. Right. Was, didn't really much love the Lions, but hey, they picked me up, man. They're gonna get it all. The thing is, this he just at this point he just wants to play. And right. He know, he know he's going he know he's gonna get paid wherever he goes. If he plays here, he plays here. Um, I don't think him going to a certain city or a certain team is going to dictate um, his production. I don't think that's going to be an issue. Uh, and I think wherever he goes, they're going to love him. A lovable guy. Yeah, right he, yeah, he said he was a Patriots fan growing up and it was really and, much and, of a lot. But that, Joy, they, that goes back into the discussion we yeah, had yesterday yeah, yeah, about they, my middle son. He has no concept of the Detroit Lions. None, and that's with me taking him to games, and that could and stuff be his like dad that. too. His dad played. His dad played with Tom Brady, right? And so he, his, there's he, that angle, yeah, too. that angle as well. You know, his father probably winners. supported kids like winners, yeah, yeah, and that's and that's where it is too. Like yeah. I talked to you, my middle son is a is a Seahawks fan, you know, and they were going through their run, you know, it's it's, third, it's, like in twelve and thirteen, those, years. yeah, you know, Back he was like six and boom. seven years old, yeah, yeah Legion the, of Boom the stuff, Legion of Boom stuff, and and the colors are cool, like we talked about yesterday, which they, they are, cool. they are, you know, the, the games are cool on TV, the crowd's really loud and all that stuff, so, you know. I, I think there is a degree of that, and I can't speak for Aiden Hutchinson. Maybe when you know we, we get him on the show here, I'll ask him about that. You know, if the Lions were better, would you maybe have been a, a bigger fan? And he'll do the he'll do the, the 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 proper response. You know, he'll say, "Oh, you know, I'm just happy with wherever I go. I just want to play football." You know, like you say, and that's what they're supposed to do. But I bet deep down, it's it's kind of similar. I bet if the Lions were winning Super Bowls when he was growing up, I bet they'd be more on the map with him. I bet. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. No, I, I think you're definitely right. How could you not be? It's the same same sort of reason as the uh, the mess with the kids being Red Wing fans. You know, it's tough to go through. You know, from 2012, 13 to 2020, if you if you're in that wheelhouse age, so it's interesting. Now you got to bring it back, but uh, no, just yeah, I think George nails it. You can what you hear there is a kid who's appreciative but just wants to play, no yeah. matter where, no matter where it is, and the excitement, and that's that's what you want. You know, it might, it's a, it's the same sort of. It, he reminds me of like T.J. Watt's mentality, right? You know, when you hear T.J. Watt talk football, you know, he just wants to go get the quarterback. That's what this kid just wants to go eat. Who was at Central, by the way? There you go. There you go. <laughs> J.J. Watt was like at that? Central. Did you like yeah. that segue? <laughs> right back to you. No, but and AC says that's because they play more national television games, and that's and that's true too. And you're on national TV because you're good, <laughs> great, because <laughs> people want to and, and, watch and, you. And you have to, to Joyce's point, the fact that you brought up that his dad, Chris Hutchinson, who had sacks and records and stuff at Michigan, and was around Tom Brady, and those. I'll, I'll cut everybody off. Steve Hutchinson. I'll or cut Steve everybody Hutchinson, off right there. Thank you. Um, Just wanted to jump in before the chatter. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I was thinking of his brother, Chris. <laughs> um, anyways, the the fact that that goes into it, right? When you're around that and you watch it and you know the person, then you can watch and and there's there's something to that mentality, um, whether being from the Michigan but having the New England. Be, being a fan of the team, I mean, Joy, who is your who is your favorite? I mean, it was who's your favorite there. team growing up? I didn't have a favorite team. I had favorite players. Who's your favorite player? And then, um, and for football, it was obviously Barry, and he was in Michigan, so we but never. You, but you wouldn't be comparable. You wouldn't 
compare yourself to Barry, who is your comparable, right? Like, yeah, I mean, I wanted to be Wayne Gretzky, but Rick Tockett was my guy because he could know. fight scored. I never did that. You didn't do that? I never, I never did that. You uh, strike me as the kind of dude that would you wouldn't follow like that that you just be you yeah. you just be joy yeah i never i never even thought about that per se when i was when i was playing you just except, thought about having the back except, flap in your abs except for in college when i got to college my favorite player at the time was actually reggie um and i would watch some of his highlights before our game all right i'll watch some of his highlights kind of hype me up but like i knew i wasn't as fast as reggie i knew i wasn't as quick as Re- reggie but you know, I was still able to go out there and make plays in certain plays that were, that were eye popping. But to kind of to go back to what you were talking about about how you know kids want to follow winners and they want to be a part of that winning culture. You look at the Lions and yeah, we didn't have that winning culture back then. And but if you look at it, if Aiden Hutchinson is from the area and say we were winning, say we were winning, do you think he would want to come here? I don't know. I don't know. I know my son is like that, but, you know, we talk about running backs and how we'll talk about running backs when they're doing well, when they're doing well. When they start to fall off and they kind of fizzle out with NFL teams, it's almost similar, but it's not about a, uh, about a team being hurt. You know, you look at their record, and if they're not winning, it kind of has that same domino effect. You know, people stop talking about you, right? And so if you are, you know, a kid growing up when Aiden Hutchinson did, at the time, the Patriots were always winning. His dad played with the quarterback, probably good friends with him. And that's what I'm going for because that's a winning organization. I was a Patriot fan. And that could be his, you know, his angle on why he grew up a, um, a Patriots fan. So, just my thoughts. Question got asked on the YouTube chat thread, too. How many local kids grow up as Lions fans here in Michigan, honestly? My middle son is not. The Lions are dead to him. And that's that's... And that's not – I try. I, I try to facilitate that. I take him to games and stuff like that. I do. But then he always asks, when are the Seahawks playing? When are the Seahawks <laughs> coming to play? And that's – I try to to push him towards that. I know I'm a bad Did you parent. bring him? Did you bring him to the um, the Lions-Seahawks game when they play here in 2012? No, he was he was he was, he was young. He was like three then. So like oh, okay. you know, that was, that was say, that's the one that. time we beat them. We beat them. one of the one games we won uh, out of that year, and they went on. Uh, did they win it that year? Was that 14, 15, 14? That might have been fifteen that they won it right when yeah. they beat when they destroyed Peyton Manning. But they also oh, no, and they, they lost to the Patriots. They lost to the Patriots. Yeah. 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 But that's when they started to become. Yeah, they were a factor. Yeah, that's when they started to become like that team. That team. Legion I think that boom. The Legion of Boom. Because the Legion of Boom came yeah. in 2010 or 11. Right, right. And then it just kind of rolled rolled through. And here we go. I'm wearing it right now. Uh, I tried for a while. Child abuse, Neil. Child abuse. Hey, I'm sorry. Like, that's, that's how I operate. I, I told you guys this yesterday when we were having this discussion. Like, I can't just, I can't just go root for another team at this point. I'm too far in. You're too far in. There's no saving me. It's, ter- too, it's terminal. Too, too, too far to be removed. Yeah, you know, it's terminal. My oldest son likes the Lions. He does. You know, he, got, he got his first taste in that Falcons game when all of a sudden the refs popped up and said, no, you guys lost. Remember, remember, <laughs> oh. remember that one? Like he, he jumped up out of his couch, and he was excited and everything. Hold on. What game are you talking about? The, that was what, the Julio, the Julio Jones game or whatever? Like the end of the game against the Falcons. Where uh, is this London game? Went, it was the 10 second runoff. The right? 10 second yeah. runoff game, exactly. Mm-hmm. Where he jumped up and he said, We won, Dad. And I was like, Well, I, I know better. I'm like, Son, hold on. Let's just wait and see. Yeah, here. he said it was down short. And then because the Lions had no timeouts and inside 10 seconds, 10 second runoff as the game was over, people went crazy and they said, We're yeah. cursed yeah. and all that. Uh, I, I do remember that game. Yeah. Also, I thought you were talking about the Falcons game when we played in London and then we kicked the, the field goal as time was expiring. And we missed. Matt Prado missed it, but they blew the whistle and let us re-kick it because it was a delayed game. And no, no, the the one okay. where they lost, where yeah, on the ten second runoff. Okay. So he jumped up and thought they won, uh, and then he started crying after he found out that they lost. And I was like, "Son, <laughs> welcome to welcome. Detroit." Was that was uh, that the catch by who, who caught that pass? Was that Golden Tate? Golden Tate. Yeah, I think it was Golden Tate. Golden Tate caught that one. I remember. And that, I, yeah. I looked him right in the eyes and I said, "Son." Welcome to being Welcome a Lions to Detroit. fan. And then I just sat there like, this is it. As good as it's going to get, my friend. 
So, you know, again, though, I'm kind of the weird dad that wants those things to happen to him, though. Well, you have to because it's life. That's life, right? man. It's life. You're going to lose more than you win. Early age. Learns it at an early age. <laughs>